Now let's spend a little bit more time talking about um, Coburg, Germany, the ancestral home of the British royal family, Saxe Coburg Gotha, otherwise known as Windsor. This town is known for its picturesque, picturesque castles and museums, but its most popular resident is the Coburg Moor. The Coburg Moor. And by the way, when you buy your little ticket to Europe, go to Germany, go to Coburg, and argue with the people there, which appears on the town's edifices, their coat of arms, and their flag, as is shown below. As it was mentioned previously, the town's history, the town's history, tells that this was the Catholic Church's patron saint from Thebes, Luxor. They were called him Saint Maurice. I showed you another image of Saint Maurice. There it is. Statue of Saint Maurice in the Cathedral of Magdeburg, Germany from 1240 AD. Black man. How it is that people can prefer ignorance over truth is beyond my comprehension. I just don't get it. Again, therefore, according to both the town's history and the Roman Catholic Church, for which he is a patron saint, Maurice was an Egyptian. Again, we can see that the gold earrings and necklace, necklace which could be symbolic of op opulence and high regard. There he is. Once again, I reiterate, save your money, buy your plane ticket, go to Germany, go to Coburg, research it for yourself and stop believing the Eurocentric lies. Like I said, I have no idea why people prefer ignorance over truth and why they are threatened by it. None of this changes anything. Do I have to say it? Everybody knows it. White people are on top. But this is historical truth. When you're in Europe, go to Freising. Also in Germany. Freising is the birthplace of Pope Benedict. It is adorned with a crowned headed moor, which may be seen at the Freising Castle and on the town's official official coat of arms and flag. Notice the crown. Notice the adornment. Notice the position. Do you realize how stupid you people look when you argue against these historical truths and facts because you've heard something, because you've read something in a book? But there is no credible evidence to support the lies and the misperceptions and the reinvention and rewriting of history. And why is anyone threatened by the truth? You want to make these black moors as to something other than black. How much blacker could you get? This evidence is all over Europe. Archdiocese of Munich. There you have it again. A Moor's head of a black African. This is the most remarkable. I don't think there's a white person anywhere, regardless of their uh, ideology or persuasion or beliefs, that will try to tell you this is a white man. What they'll try to tell you, again, is that these are the captured heads of black people or something like that. They'll try to explain away everything. These are the official coats of arms. And they will even argue against the people there who would tell you the historical truth. The white people that would tell you the historical truth. Now we go to Sardinia in Italy. As such, the official history of Aragon claims that the Moors' heads here can be traced to the Battle of Alcoraz in which the Moors were defeated by Pedro I in 1096. And of course, over the years, there have been revisionist explanations. Um, again, here is the coat of arms for Aragon, which shows the four, this is not the same person, the four Moorish kings in this image. And there is Switzerland, Aventus. And there we have Cornell. 